Hello everyone, my name is Cyrus Jansen. I'm a two-star certified PGA professional from the United States, and I'd like to welcome you to my backyard here in beautiful British Columbia, Canada. Now, first of all, I want to give a shout out to the company that helped me make this dream a reality, and that is Perfect Turf Vancouver, the leading artificial turf installation company here in the Lower Mainland. We are very excited because we've partnered together to make an eight-part putting series to help you improve your short game. And we're gonna do all lessons live right here in my backyard on this world-class putting green. So if you're watching this video, we want to welcome you to the series, and let's jump right into lesson one, and that is going to be talking about the putting grip. Now for demonstration purposes, I've gone to my toolbox, I've gotten my trusty hammer out, and we're going to study a little bit about the motion of driving a nail into a board to better understand the fundamentals involved with putting. Now there's a very important principle when you're trying to exert maximum amount of energy and force to strike a nail into a board. And that is, is that you are actually gripping the handle of the hammer in your fingers. And when you grip in the fingers, you therefore are cocking your wrist, you're uncocking, and it's this cocking and uncocking motion that is driving the power of the hammer into the nail and getting that done. If you grip the club in your fingers, you are in a position of power. Now we don't need much power in putting. What we need is actually control. So what I want you to remember is this, is that you're not gonna be gripping in the fingers. Instead, you're gonna be gripping directly in your palm. I have now eliminated the wrist from this motion. So I don't have a lot of power. However, I have phenomenal control. So although this grip is not good for driving a nail into a board, it's very good for putting because it eliminates the wrist. And that's one fundamental that I really want you to understand is that you need to eliminate your wrist in your putting stroke. So now we're gonna start with the fundamental putting grip and this is just your standard. And again, we're going away from your fingers, moving it down to the palm. I'm gonna put my left thumb right down the shaft here and I'm gonna come in with my right hand. Again, not in the fingers, but going into the palm. I'm gonna have both of my thumbs right down the shaft. And what I like to do is I like to extend this index finger of my left hand. Again, this is my leading hand. And if you look now, this is what we would consider a standard putting grip. Now, the reason I like this left index finger extended like this is that it serves as a friendly reminder to not flip my wrist like that. Okay, I wanna feel that this left arm, this left wrist is very, very stable. And that is really a key principle that we're going to use when we're putting. Now this is where putting gets very creative because this is standard, but as you've seen on the PGA Tour, there's dozens of different variations. So let's run through a couple different options for you. But you can also flip that and put your left hand down. This is a very popular method called left hand low. Jordan Spieth, Jim Furyk use this a lot. And again, you can see when I'm using this putting grip, how look how nice and straight this left arm is. Very straight, very easy to remember not to flip your wrist. A variation as well that's very popular is, to, is the claw grip. And the claw grip is we're actually turning the hands on top and you can put these four fingers right on top. It looks a little awkward, but again, it's for people that have too much of an active right wrist, they just eliminates it. You're putting your right hand on top. A variation of this is the two finger claw. And even I've seen some variations from Ali Schneiderjans this year on the PGA Tours where he takes these three fingers and he simply puts it on top here like this. And again, he's just trying to eliminate that right hand from his stroke as best as possible. One final grip that I like to always highlight is from the two-time Masters champion Bernard Langer, who in the late 80s did this to eliminate the wrist as he started grabbing, he actually started holding it very close to his forearm here. So the shaft was directly next to his forearm and then he grasped it with his right arm. And you can see that in this regard, it's almost impossible to flip your wrist. So if you look at all the videos that we've just shot and you look back at all of these grips that we've done, there's one key fundamental thing that I want you to do and that is to eliminate the wrist from your putting stroke. If you can remember that, you're gonna have a great start to your putting uh, sequence and your putting um, ability. All right, now the next element in our setup is we're gonna talk about your stance. And this is where you can get a little bit creative because what I like to do is on, on very short putts, sometimes I like to stand a little bit more narrow. And then if I have, say, a 50, 60 footer, what I'll do is I'll get my feet a little bit wider. And the wider the stance, it just helps me to remember to kind of make my swing a little bit bigger. All right? So really your stance is up to you. If you're not too sure, a general rule of thumb is to set up as wide as your shoulders. That's a good frame of reference. Now, the next element that we're going to talk about is going to be your ball position. And for your ball position, what I like to do is I like to keep it 
just a little bit forward of the middle of my stance and I like to keep it directly under my left eye. So a drill that I really like to do is I like to take a second ball, I like to place it directly underneath my eye and I'll go ahead and let that ball drop and that should strike the other golf ball. So for instance, if you're putting, if you're having a short putt like this and you get your eyes a little bit too far over the golf ball, you can see now that my eyes are certainly now in front. What happens is, is that when you turn your head, you're not actually looking at your target, you're actually looking to the right of the target. So a lot of players, what they'll do is they'll actually push that putt because they're going to be pushing it down the line of their eyes. Another example that we see is players that stand a little bit too far away from the ball. Again, you can see my eyes are clearly behind the golf ball by at least six or seven inches. So as a result, because I'm so far away, you're not actually looking at the hole, you're actually looking here to the left. So a common result is that I'll actually be pulling that shot you know, to the left. So of course, a good alignment is one is where you can get set up you can get your eyes directly over your golf ball. Therefore, when you're turning your head, you're actually looking down your target line. That putter is lined up, and you're going to be able to strike that ball. So everyone, I want to thank you for tuning in to lesson one of this eight-part video series on how to improve your putting. It's sponsored by Perfect Turf Vancouver. If you haven't already, check the description below. Make sure that you check out their website. They are doing absolutely phenomenal work. They're going to install the best uh, artificial turf putting green for you in your backyard. And so let's just do a quick review on some of the principles that we learned in this lesson. That of course is, is that if when you're doing your putting grip, make sure that you're not in your fingers, that you are in the palm. Members, fingers is power, palm is control. We definitely need more control in your putting stroke. So make sure that you're using you know, your palms to grip the club, but find something that is comfortable for you. There's many different variations of putting grips. Find one that works for you, but the key factor is, is that you find one that eliminates the wrist from your stroke. I always like to tell my students that putting is an art form. There's some, some important principles that you need to understand, but there's a lot of individuality that can be expressed in putting. Tune in to lesson two, where we're gonna begin breaking down the actual stroke and helping you get some of those short putts into the hole. Again, I'm Cyrus Jansen. Thank you for watching this video. Click that subscribe button, and we'll see you soon.